Hi Scorpio, I'm G1 Rider with G1 Insights and this is your extended mini love reading for the month of April 2020. So I didn't really get to focus a lot on our love energy too much in, for the month of April doing your life and love energy. So I wanted to give you guys a little something extra just to kind of help ease everyone's mind. And I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Any type of comments, keep it love and light. Okay, please share this message around the world because everybody deserves to hear this message. I love you. All right, guys, so let's get started. Let's get started. I have some beautiful cards here for you. Let's see Scorpio. All right. I already pre-shuffled, guys, so this really shouldn't take long, okay? That one came out in reverse, so hold on. All right. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Ooh, the phoenix. So, guys, it seems like you guys are going through, like, a new phase, okay? Um, there's some type of transformation here when it comes to love. And it seems like you guys are trying your best to just be a little bit more vulnerable, to really open yourselves up this season. You're not really taking no for an answer either. I just heard that. You're not taking no for an answer. And, you know, I feel like you guys have a changed mind about something. Like, there's... Um, a shift happening where you literally are getting like a change of mind so maybe one point you felt like hey i don't want to do this anymore and now you're like nope i'm not letting go like it's a dramatic turnaround is what i'm seeing okay very beautiful oh look at that so it looked like you <laughs> like i said what did i say before guys look sunglasses so what did i say before like you guys are not giving up you're not taking no for an answer and with the sunglasses energy here it's like you know again you're changing your perception about something or changing your mind about something but not only that i feel like a lot of you are either watching someone's social media page or um you're really paying like extra focus on someone this could even be someone that you've been with for quite some time um you are zooming in a lot more on them than usual and it's it's kind of tricky and i think it's scaring some of you actually because um you don't like to really wear your heart too much on your sleeve but with this energy it's like you guys are like i don't care i don't care like i said you guys are being more open and allowing the vulnerability to kind of shine through and with that being said of course that opens the door to greater love and you know more honesty in the relationship as well so I think that's really, really beautiful. But guys, stalking and being really possessive, guys, I know that Scorpios can be highly possessive, especially when they're in love. Try not to be too crazy this season, okay? You may really desire or uh, see that you have these strong or even feel that you have these strong, intense energy or feelings about someone that you love. Try not to be too possessive or too controlling. Be on the lookout for that type of energy, okay? You don't want to run people away with your possessive behavior, okay? Ooh, it looks like, you know... Either you or somebody else is not showing their true feelings. Okay, now, if I'm not sure, but it's feel like, you know, again, this is, guys, I have to show you this, okay? Gaslighting. It came out twice in two different cards, okay? So, again, there's this energy of, you know, it's like, it's like this assertiveness or this aggressiveness, okay? Um, either a lot of you are pretending Okay, or maybe you have been pretending for so long. And again, you are coming back to this area where it's like, no, I do want this. I do want this relationship. I do want this to work, you know, and I'm not giving up. I'm not walking away. I don't care what you say. You're mine. I'm yours. That's how it's going to be. You want to leave me? You, you know, <laughs> you're going to have to die first. <laughs> you're going to have to kill me to get rid of me type of thing. Again, Scorpio, try not to be too possessive, but I feel like, um, someone also, this can for some of you anyway, someone also has a lot of, for my single people anyway, I feel this very strongly. Um, somebody definitely does have a lot of the same intense feelings for you as well. And I think that is what's scaring you is that you're not used to this type of energy. But this person is pretty much doing to you what you're doing to them. It's like this 
push and pull energy, you know, like they're crazy over you, you're crazy over them. And what happens when things, when you guys are too crazy over each other, things explode. You guys get crazy together and it's like, well, I don't care. You know, you're going to respect me. You know, you're not going to be out there doing what you want to do. And the other person is saying, well, well, if you just do this, then maybe I won't be doing it. It's like this back and forth type of energy, you know, and again, this can be twin flame energy, it can definitely be um, someone that you've been with for a really long time, but for those of you that are single, this person is either hiding their feelings or not really being totally truthful about either maybe they don't like the possessiveness or they can be just as possessive and they are not really showing you that side just yet. This could be um, another Scorpio that you are dealing with, or this could be some type of Earth energy as well, okay? Because Earth signs can also be very possessive. All right, so last card. Let's see. So Scorpio, again, for those of you that are single, you know, I feel like a lot of you are in a good place. Again, you're looking at things from a different perspective. You're ready, again, at the beginning card, the Phoenix, right? We're looking at um, a new phase, you know, things being... Um, reconciliation, things being worked out, starting over, transformation. This can even represent growth, okay? But again, some of you are like, look, I'm living my best life. You know, if you're not going to roll with the punches and be making me feel good, I don't have time for this, you know? And a lot of you are even bragging about how wonderful your spouse are. You know, like, oh my God, my husband is so great. My husband is fantastic. My wife is amazing. She does this. She's like that. She does this and I'm like this. So it's like you you guys are, again, you are, it's like you're in a whole different mindset, okay? Change mind, okay, about this particular individual. Whoever this person is, you have literally changed your mind. Some of you may have also changed your mind for the better. Saying like, look, I think it's best that we just part our ways and just go about our separate ways and i think some of you for a great hand of you actually some of you are actually happy in that space where you're like mm, i'm good like i didn't been there done that been married more than once it just ain't working you know but for those of you that are crazy in love i feel like this person is also just as crazy in love with you and that is what's scary because you both can be really like ah, you know like yeah, you fuck with me, I'm going to fuck with you right back. Like, you both had that real tense, strong energy about you. And as crazy as it sounds, a lot of people think that you guys are crazy. A lot of people think that you guys are crazy. You know, you're always arguing and fussing and fighting. But, the, you know, what I love about love is that, especially soulmate energy, is that, you know, when a person comes into our life, especially like a soulmate or a twin flame, they are literally a mirror, a reflection of who we are. We attract who we are and what we do, you know, and what we say. So if we're constantly being a certain way, we nine out of 10 will meet someone who either has these qualities that we need to adapt to, or they are literally just like us. And a lot of times we can't stand that type of energy because it reflects a lot of our own energy. So it's not that you guys are not compatible, but in fact, you guys are very compatible and there's going to be some things that has to be shaken up. Again, that growth has to be allowed to happen, Scorpio. And I think that as long as you and this other person is um, willing to allow the change to happen, you can't go wrong. That is what I'm feeling, okay? So let's see what your soul is yearning for, my love. Let's see what's going on with your soul's energy. And congratulations to some of you that are getting married, that are having a baby. This is beautiful energy that I'm feeling, Scorpio. Very passionate, very sexy energy. Very nice. Let's see, guys. All right. Uh-oh. That shuffle didn't go too right. Hold on. <laughs> All right, I already pre shuffled these cards as well. So, look at that being afraid of failure, guys. It's okay. Again, you know, you have to be okay with things falling apart, getting back together, things not always working out in our favor, but saying, you know what. It didn't happen because I was meant to be with this person. This person ignite me. You know, like they really bring out the best of me. And I'm seeing that for the first time in a long time. That it wasn't meant for me to be with this other person. It wasn't meant for me to continue a relationship with this other person. You know, so I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity. You messed up long ago. But like I said, guys, in the very beginning, 
You are not taking no for an answer. You have a changed mind, a changed perspective, and you're letting it be. And guess what? You're okay with that. Look, I messed up before, but I love this person, and I'm not letting this person go. You know, I this person really, really makes me feel content and safe and satisfied, and they bring so much life into me. And I, that's why you guys are being so sexual, intense, and possessive because you're realizing, like, wow, I'm really in love with this person, you know? And for a lot of you, it took you a long time to see that. And it's okay. It's okay. You know, we all make mistakes, Scorpio. You know, the important thing is for you to realize that mistake and to move forward. Again, being okay with that failure, guys, okay? So, Scorpio, I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys are amazing. This was a very beautiful, positive reading. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the month of May, okay? Um, this is going to be a beautiful season for a lot of people. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you again, Scorpio. I love you. You have a wonderful season. Keep your head up. Keep hope alive. Spread love and light. And thank you for subscribing to my channel. Bye, guys.